dear leaders and president. Oh, thank you very much. I was going to forget that. <laughs> I'll repeat that for the recording. Good morning, dear leaders and president of District 20 Toastmasters Club. Remember in your installation ceremony when you were holding that gavel and the installation officer told you, having been elected president of your club, you're its chief executive officer. It is your challenge to see that this club enables its members to achieve their educational goals. It is also your challenge to see that your club helps area, the division, the district, and Toastmasters International meet their goals. Please accept the gavel as a symbol of your leadership and dedication to office. Now, I remember when I was president, I felt that this was a really proud moment, but this is actually also the moment that it hit me that I was, oh my God, a lot of responsibility, quite a big responsibility. I'm sure that having accepted the, this role, you have already read about it in the um, club leadership handbook. So today we'll just go through some of the tasks and the, we'll try to, achieve some certain objectives about the information that we need as club presidents. So that's me. And today's session, the objectives is to identify your role as president, to fulfill your responsibilities, and to find resources that will help you. So if I was to ask you to complete the sentence, the president is, or the president is the person who is, or who? Leader. Leading the leader. team. Leader of the club, yes. What else? He's the CEO. He's the CEO, yes. He's the one this who sets, uh, sets the goal, I think, uh, uh, the tone of the, the club, I believe. Definitely sets the tone of the club. Head of the family. And head of the family. The He's a role leader. model. Creator a role model. He's the, the maestro. The He's maestro. a motivator. He's a motivator. motivator. Yes. I think all of this then. Definitely <laughs> all of this. He's the cheerleader. He's his chief servant. And he is the one that checks in to find out if everybody's pulse is working. He's the doctor then. He's the doctor. <laughs> He's the doctor. <laughs> He's the consultant. He's the doctor, Dr. Asha. Yes. <laughs> He's the consultant. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, this is true. <laughs> yes. I hear, I heard the something. The president is the one who navigates the club. Who? Pardon? The president is the one who navigates the club. Navigates the club, yes. Yeah. So he's the pilot. No. <laughs> so he's the a captain, lot of things now. Captain of the ship. <laughs> No, he's the captain, captain of the ship. <laughs> even so, even I, can, I can say a shepherd. <laughs> So, so according to all of you, the, the, the president is actually the captain, the pilot, the doctor, <laughs> probably the engineer as well. So many things, so many things. So according to Toastmasters International, the president is the person who sets the tone, as you all said. He or she is expected to provide helpful, supportive leadership for all club activities. And he is the first to assume responsibility for the progress and welfare of the club. He motivates arbitrates and facilitates as required. And when there's a difficult decision, he does that in consultation with members and club officers. He strives or she strives to show respect to all members, even when disagreeing with them and to provide leadership for all. So he's the head of the family, definitely. So responsibilities now. There are three instances where the president has responsibilities. First is within the club meeting. Second is outside the club meeting. And third is within the executive committee. And the first one is actually a tricky one because for the club meeting, there is before the club meeting, there's upon arrival at the club meeting, and then there is during the club meeting itself. So can maybe someone tell us a little bit about what the president has to do before club meetings? Check with the... Vice President Education, the agenda. <laughs> yes. Check with the Sajita Nams. Everything is yes. ready. And make sure the guests are arrived, the members are arrived. 
Yep. So he's helping VP education. He's helping sergeant at arms. And who else? He's helping Flyer. everyone. Flyer Make sure he's time. there before the meeting begins. At least 15 minutes. Yes. Of course, we lead by example. You lead by example, yes. Motivates so the members to attend the meeting. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 oh, motivates uh, as a slash uh, pushes the members sometimes as well. Yes, or reminds <laughs> rather. Reminds them, yes. Maybe they're forgetful. <laughs> Call everyone the night before and tell them you have the meeting to attend. Yes, uh, I enact them. No, I'll I do I'll that. <laughs> Al Alka was the one. Alka was the one being president for many clubs. She used to send message from UK, from India, from <laughs> USA. Yeah. Was she? <laughs> Even in the elevator. Some, yeah. Meeting the day. Place. Meeting day. It is very important for the president to send a message on the group that uh, just inviting members to attend. I think that's a friendly kind of reminder and also, mm -hmm. uh, like, I think it sets the tone for the meeting. Uh, inviting see, and yes, inviting no, and all the guests, members, all your and no, your reason, friends. Recent days are recent uh, time. Getting the people or member or anyone to the venue seems to be very difficult. Now, since we have started with the Zoom after the pandemic, you offer them anything, still they are hesitant to come. <laughs> I don't know what is the reason. Either online, or either physical. Now I am struggling to see members in the meetings where I used to see some of the uh, club used to have 20, 30 members in a meeting. Uh, Alka used to witness these meetings in our many of the clubs. Today, I'm very sorry to say, I don't see more than 15 in most of the clubs, most of the clubs. That's very strange, which we used to see 30 plus. I have some pictures I'm just cherishing, which we took it on 2014, 15. The picture is showing like four or five clubs, but it is just one club. So that's not happening now. We wish to see them back. That will be our challenge for this year, Toastmaster Savak. So let's move on to before club meetings. And before club meetings, as Toastmaster Asha was saying, you have to contact your VP education and ask if we need to recognize anyone. If someone has achieved a certain thing, reached a certain level in education, uh, if they're they've participated in a certain contest and won. If there is any sort of recognition that needs to be done, you need to be aware of it so that you can do it during the meeting. You have to plan for the business section, whether you're, we're having uh, inductions, if we're voting on a certain issue, something related to the club that we need to decide on, anything planned, you plan it for that section because you preside over the business section. And you have to review your parliamentary procedures because anything you do in the club, it has to go according to parliamentary procedures. Okay, so you're all set and you arrived at the venue. What do you do? You have to review the meeting agenda and make sure that everything is filled out and the VVP education does not need any help in filling some positions because sometimes you might have to step in and help out as the president. And also along with all, uh, people or uh, members of the XCOM, you need to greet guests and to show them welcome as uh, DTM Farhas Farouk was saying about first impressions, it is important to welcome guests and greet them and make them feel welcomed so that they would feel comfortable uh, in the meeting and consider the, the club and the club experience. Now, during the club meetings, the first thing is the gavel. You call the meeting to order. And then you introduce the guests. You have guests in the, the venue itself or guests online, but you need to introduce everyone if you have time. If you're, we're not short on time, we introduce guests because again, it's something that makes guests feel welcome and want to engage in the meeting and feel part of it. During the meeting as well, you explain the parts of the meetings. Of course, it's the Toastmaster of the day who explains the agenda itself, but you explain that there's the introduction, there's the parts of the meeting itself, and then we have the business section at the end. So this could be your contribution to that part. You make any announcements, maybe you're having your area director's visit. So you're announcing to all your members that the area director is visiting. Maybe you were having, the, it's the contest season and 
uh, contest is starting soon, so you might want to announce about uh, anything. If you're having an open house at Speechcraft and you want to, to tell people, to tell your members about the dates and ask them if any would like to participate, you conduct the business uh, portion of the meeting and you provide information about the next meeting. And at the end, you just punch the gavel and you startle everyone who has been sleeping throughout the meeting to adjourn the meeting, of course. And we have a question from Toastmaster Omar Mahir. Yes. Hi, how's it going? Uh, so Fine. I have a question about that, actually, because we've been in a debate in the club and with our area director. Is it the president or is it the sergeant at arms that opens the meeting? Because based on what you're saying, it looks like the president opens the meeting. But based on what I've read, uh, it's the sergeant at arms. The sergeant at arms actually opens the meetings. He welcomes guests and he states the rules and then gives the, the floor to the president who uh, punches the gavel and then starts uh, opens the meeting officially. Ah, right. I see. Thank you. Hi, thank you so much. Uh, I have one question, actually, just to follow up on what he asked. Sure. Uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes. Okay, perfect. So um, the question that I have is, when you start right after the Sergeant at Arms speaks, and then as a club uh, president, when I speak, is there anything that I take away from him in sense, like once he's already given the ground rules, the roles, it sets the tone of the meeting, what is it that I say that adjures the meeting? Is there like a specific uh, line that we have to say, or like a specific thing that that denotes that hey, this is this is like the meeting has has uh, begun, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, you can actually say that I would like to call them this meeting to order or meeting number one sixty eight of the uh, Baghdad Toastmasters Club to order. And then you begin with a small introduction. You can talk a little bit maybe about Toastmasters, something very briefly about the numbers of members of clubs and countries and everything like that. So you can tell, sometimes I'd like to, to share a personal experience about Toastmasters, maybe how I started. Every time you do, you say something a little bit different uh, so that if you have, members won't be bored, it will be a bit different. And also adding the personal touch is- Okay, got it. Value to Thank you. Club. Thank you. Yes. Dalia, when is the uh, can, time can when we, we have to do the adoption of the agenda? You know, we have to, like, soon as you open the meeting? Uh, actually, this is actually a question that I've been having. And yeah, I because you know, I, sometimes I forget. Sometimes <laughs> so when really I remember when, what is the actual sequence of that adoption of agenda? And someone has to propose and second it, right? So, yes, so maybe someone, uh, uh, again, uh, one of our DD, seasoned DD presidents is there. can, DD yes, yes. DD. IP, IP, DD, IP, DD. Khaled Abdullah. <laughs> All right, let me just take this on, on board. So yes. usually, usually once you finish from your presidential address before handing over the control to the master of ceremony, that's the time when you call the VPE because the VPE would know who is in and who's not there. And uh, mm -hmm. if the VPE, says that everything is in order, then usually either the VP can raise the motion or allow someone else to raise the motion and someone else ha has to adopt or second. Once the second person, once the second motion comes in, then the president would have to say, are there any objection? If there are no objection, then the president would move forward with the introduction of the master of ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Okay, let's have one more question and then continue and then come back to the questions at the end. So we yeah. have two Pastor Sadat. Yeah, my question, question. my question is very simple. Are you going to share this presentation with all the presidents? Of yes, course. I am. Yeah, that yes, is. I am. So because it's actually... we are not going to remember everything what we see in the screen. Or, you know, we are getting old. You, you also have the, the club leadership handbook that you can go back to and that this is where everything is coming mostly from, but I'll definitely share the presentation. You don't have to worry. I am very happy to be a president because you are my VPE. <laughs> <laughs> You're her boss. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Outside the club meeting. And outside the club meeting, once the meeting is all over and we're waiting until the, the, the upcoming meeting, 
you need to attend the council meetings. And there are two types of councils that you are part of. The first is your area council, the area director. And as president, you are one of three club XCOM members that are part of the area XCOM. That's, of course, president, VPE, and VPM. The other council that you are part of is the district council. And the district council, all clubs, presidents, and VPEs are part of that council. Councils are usually held twice a year, and you're expected to attend and vote on behalf of your club. The second thing is the annual business meeting, and that's the business meeting that is held by TI in the convention once a year in August, and it's coming up, and you're probably starting to get emails about assigning proxies for your club on who's going to vote on the uh, candidates for office at the international level and all the changes they want to make in the bylaws and everything. So you're also expected to attend and vote at that annual business meeting. The third thing is that you need to appoint the audit committee and that's almost, it takes place almost one month before the end of the term. And you have to assign three members of your club in good standing, except the treasurer to audit the financials of your club. And then you also need to appoint the nominating committee. And that takes place two weeks before elections. And elections are usually due beginning first meeting of May. So two weeks prior, again, you choose three members. Usually the chair of that committee is the immediate past president. And they have to come up with the list of nominees for the seven XCOM rooms. Now. Again, with outside the club, you also receive all official correspondence from World Health Quarters. As I was telling you, you're probably getting emails now regarding proxies. At different times during the year, you'll get correspondence from the uh, from TI. And since you are the, the initial point of contact between TI and your club, you also need to schedule and preside over the executive committee meeting, your committee, the seven people, you are the person who will call for a meeting and ask them to, to, to join that meeting and then preside over the meeting and present the different, the, the different topics. Also ask your executive, uh, part, the people who are in your executive committee to uh, each to participate with their section of the meeting. You need to develop and improve club leadership in terms of mostly, uh, checking that um, members' surveys are there, what members are going to work on, their goals for the upcoming year, what they're going to be working on. You need to motivate them to also, if you're there, some sort of recognition when they finish speeches, when they finish levels, when they participate in certain events at the club or at the district level. So you work on this as well. And you oversee club administration. You work with the secretary and you work with the treasurer. These are mostly the two people and, of course, the sergeant at arms. This is the administration check section, making sure that um, secretary submits uh, officer's list on time, a treasurer pays dues on time. So you need to, to oversee uh, these issues. Again, one more thing is to advance club and member achievement by recognition and through motivation as well. And you interact officially with other organization levels. Your first point of contact, of course, is your area director. And, um, and also it could be people at, at higher levels. Officially, it's your, your on an official level, it's the area director, but it could be that division director might seek your help, district director, PQD, someone else might seek your help, maybe finding people to participate in certain uh, events. So you're their main point of contact at this point. Now, the third thing we were talking about is at the executive committee. And we talked about overseeing the executive committee, making sure that uh, everyone is accountable, the VP, VP education, they're, uh, they're preparing the agenda, they're looking at training, they're, look, they're looking at quality meetings. So you need to check and see if they need help, if they need, you also motivate them. So make sure that every one of the other six executive committee members are performing, uh, you support them, you provide help, whatever, but just you, as we were saying, you're the CEO, you're the leader. So you make sure that everyone is doing what they need, really need to do. And if they cannot, you might want to provide support. You might jump in or help them with, suggest that someone else helps them, things like that. 
and as I was saying, ensure that the executive committee completes its duties. Again, you need to, what Toastmaster Nizar was talking about, the club budget to plan ahead for what you are uh, going to spend. And if you're going to have any events, you need to plan for that. Uh, if you're having an open house, a speech craft, just to make sure, uh, as well as the contest and the trophies and everything, you need to plan a budget for the upcoming year. And the calendar should be able to help you with this. You complete the success plan. And as DTM Khaled was saying, along with the other officers as well, everyone has an input in there. And you should all work together to, uh, to establishing your club success plan. And of course, the club plan also helps you put your goals for achieving distinguished club status. You set, along with, of course, the VP education, VP membership, and all the other members, you set who's going to finish which levels to make sure that you're accomplishing the educational goals, how many members, new members that you're going to add through events such as the open house, the speech craft, or whatever, just to make sure that you also can achieve your membership goals and maintain or also um, achieve the, the number of base members that you're supposed to have to be eligible for distinguished. And then anything else that might comes up, come up during the year, you also need to uh, see how if there are issues, if there are problems, if there's anything, you need to work with your committee and your members towards finding solutions and maybe making committees if you find that uh, this is the perfect solution for that sort of problem. Okay, so let us look at the, maybe have uh, an example of how a certain of one of your tasks is done. So the first thing, let's say the example is to prepare a club success plan. So how would you do that? D.D. Khaled just taught us how to do it. <laughs> See? <laughs> now it's a lot to see if you if you were actually uh, concentrating on this. Yes. Yes. Just very much. <laughs> okay. So how would you do this? Catch your VPE and catch the other XCOM officers also. And sit together and write down what all Khalid has told you to do. So as DTM Khaled was saying, there is an option of planning actually the club success plan online. However, it's not maybe available at this point, but uh, you can, yeah, you can either print it or do it online. Toastmaster Hassan, can you help us out here? Yes. Good morning and thank you everyone. Yeah, uh, DTM Khaled has just taught us how to plan before planning actually. Uh, we need to go through the reports, use the material available on the Toastmaster International, uh, see where our uh, club members are standing uh, in their pathways, make sure they have all uh, updated their base camp. And based on that, we can plan who will finish the level one, who will finish the level two. And uh, all together, we, do, we put a plan and we, we, we uh, put a goal where we want to take our club at the end of the term. This is basically uh, how. DTM Khaled, don't worry, everyone was up and concentrating. Great job. Okay, so when do we do the club? Do we work on the club success plan? The very first month. Yes, the very from, first month. From today. Start. From today. <laughs> okay, so we're going to finish that meeting and go and work on the club success plan, yes, everyone. We already started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we talked about who the exec the whole of the executive committee they work together and what that's the club success plan. Okay, so we talked about that and now we move on to resources. Okay, so the first thing is uh Toastmaster Vikram, I know you, you had raised your hand before and so you please yeah, sorry. tell us. Yeah, good morning. Good Can morning. you please share the presentation also along with uh, your training, sure. please? Okay, so the first thing is doing what you actually did today or what we're actually doing today is the attend the district sponsored club officer training program, the COTS. And we're here. So since you're all here, you've accomplished that very first thing. 
Then you read the material. You have the uh, club uh, leadership handbook. This is the, 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 the initial thing. You have the, the constitution and the, the bylaws and everything. So you read all that. You, I, I believe you probably have done that already. You meet with the outgoing executive committee just to make sure how things were done in the club in the past and uh, you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. So you meet with them, you get all the documents. If they're okay, you work with them. If you maybe you want to change something or maybe you find you have a better solution to a certain thing, you can also do that. But communicating with the outgoing executive committee is definitely an essential thing. You meet with the outgoing president, who is also going to be your advisor. Your immediate uh, past president is the advisor in the committee, so you don't have to worry about that. He will always be there for you. And then once you're all set and you have all the resources and you have all the past material, now it's time to concentrate on the future. You meet with your current executive committee and you start planning for the year ahead. I am very happy, Dahlia. Outgoing president is still with me. Outgoing ESCOM is still with me. Incoming VP is with me. Incoming ESCOM is with me. <laughs> what does you need to lead the team? Uh, well, that's it, Halas. <laughs> <laughs> you have everything. Lucky you, Toastmaster Sadiq. <laughs> and then you review and order any public relations material if you need to order anything from Toastmasters International, if you want to have uh, ribbons, pins, anything to um, recognize members, you make a list and you start the order and you develop the media list. You have to work on that with your VP PR, the channels of communication and how you're going to spread the word and talk about your club. And yes, Dr. Asha. The club budget, no? How do we get the money? <laughs> Mostly your, like your, main source of, your main source of income is definitely your uh, your local club fees. Oh, treasurer uh, smile, treasurer smile can bring more money. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the main thing. But also the uh, the district itself provides um, um, support, financial support for certain issues like open houses, like speech craft. Um, Right, DTM Khalid? For clubs, right? For clubs? Or is it for no. the No? Yeah, for okay. clubs. That's no. my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can participate within the area and to have a speech craft and then, what, no? Yes, area. Sponsors? Yes. 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 Area and development. So it's mostly local club fees. This is your main, the main uh, income that, you, that your club will, will get money from. Dalia, so we are also to. Dalia, we are also in the region with a lot of money in the GCC. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm I'm in poor Egypt. Money I cannot talk about that. That's up to you now. <laughs> I said GCC. <laughs> that's why that's why I said GCC. Those my first time. Alisa, President. Yes. yes. Is it uh, you are saying that you are ready to sponsor? I used to uh -oh. do. I will, I will still do some. I don't want to go into the detail. I sponsor whole club, whole club of my company. I open a club in my corporate club. I sponsored them because they were disappearing one by one. So, Master Sadiq, you have 77 presidents here. I don't know if you want to, uh, Yanni, talk about this. <laughs> so basically, uh, maybe... I, basically, I agree with that uh, statement because I have done the same uh, that I can uh, have some sort of a support from the company that I'm working with and uh, that helped me to start my own club. So that's one idea, one other idea, sponsorships. Exactly, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay. And now your resources. I would say the very main resource is your club leadership handbook and also something that would be helpful for you to know is also the district leadership handbook. You have uh, this item here, Chairman, that's a, um, a resource from Toastmasters International, and it's about leading and being a leader in your club. We have the club constitution for Toastmasters International, distinguished club program and club success plan, distinguished club program, of course, and its distinguished uh, club goals, and you have the speech craft information. That's mostly your resources. and. Uh, 
DTM, uh, the Toastmaster Asha, did you have a question or is, is your hand raised? No, someone has to read it out for us, all this, because we don't have the time to read. Okay. <laughs> like, you, <laughs> like how you are telling us, we need someone to keep telling us in the middle of our work. <laughs> well, we don't have to worry because there is the uh, makeup cut and there is the uh, cut in the other half of the year. So you keep be reminded about the things you have to do. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. But still, you need to uh, read a little bit. Find some time to read certain things. Toastmaster Vikram, you had a question. Yeah, good morning again. How do we change the bylaws of the club? For example, we are in a club where we are thinking to change the time and the days of meeting. So how do we do that? Like, I'm just asking a question. It's not that we are going to change, but just for knowledge. Okay, please correct me if I'm wrong, but as I believe we have to raise a motion and then I agree with all the club members and then raise a motion, have it seconded and then vote on the uh, on changing the time or date or whatever. Am I correct? Correct. And you need to amend the club addendum in the club central because that's already part of your club yeah. um, bylaws, if you want to call it bylaws. Let's and most call important it thing, uh, and most important thing, Dikim Khalid and uh, Dalio, uh, we should understand that majority of the members should be there, not just the ex comp member decision. When you talk Corum. about the change, Corum. yeah, quorum, that's very, very mm -hmm. important. Thank you. Over to you. Okay. Uh, excuse me, a question. I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, the, those uh, present resources, I know the handbook is a software and I have downloaded uh, Club Leadership Handbook was downloaded. Are the other uh, resources available free of charge or we have to order them through Toastmaster supplies? Most of the uh, resources are free of charge. The Constitution, the Distinguished Club Program, the club success plan, these are uh, free of charge, of but certain things are things you have to pay for. Speech craft, the, the kit itself you have to pay for. Chairman is a manual that you have to pay for. But again, if you, uh, if you Google, whether you go on the Toastmasters website or you go through Google and type the, the type of resource you want, it will lead you, it will take you to the Toastmasters website. And most of these things are free. You can download them from there. In the digital I, think, I think we are, uh, uh, before we run out of the time, I yes. just have a question or uh, just a suggestion. I don't know how many of us are going to agree. Since we have created so many groups, we have so many groups existing. I have a suggestion to make District 20 more stronger, better, bigger. I suggest to have a group of presidents only. We already have. We made a group only. of only presidents. Haven't you I, joined? I don't know. Nobody add me. I don't see the club. Please. Let's, <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's no, no. We have. Person. We have already. We have a group. Of I'm sorry. We I have one add, I'm sorry. Please, please add me. Please add me. Okay. <laughs> me too, please. Me, me three. I have one question, please. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Can I? Uh, before we uh, we move, we continue with yes, the questions. Can I just me. put? Can I please put the um, attendance form on the chat box for you all? You need to register just to make sure that you've all attended. It is there in the it's chat just, box. It's already there. It's already there. Oh, the there. Box. Okay, yeah. great. Okay. So please register. Remember to register before you leave because this is even more important than the registration we've done before the meeting. Uh, okay. So we have... I have a question, please. Definitely, Where, uh, Toastmaster Paul. Yes, found it. Yeah, uh, uh, if one ex ex com committee is not do his duty, so what I have to do for him? <laughs> well, Multitask. Uh, you do the duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to. Uh, it, it depends. You take it on. Uh, I try uh, my best to let him do what he. I copy the paper he needed, but still he didn't do anything. But do you know what the problem is? Why isn't he doing it? Is I it an issue related to the club or is it something personal? No, no, not you personal. There is no, no personal, but uh, uh, he said he, this not important. <laughs> <laughs> is there, yeah, if it's, it's something happened that to me, not, I am not a uh, uh, <laughs> imagination. 
This is true. But did, did you at least go through with him on what he suggests? If, if there is a certain goal, if we're doing this because of a certain reason, then and, and then there is this way of doing this. Maybe he has a different way of doing it to achieve yeah, that same goal. I, I, so, yeah, I told him, do what you can, uh, what you have, uh, the way you, you like. What he said is that not important. His, his position was secretary. Mm -hmm. I tell him, give me the report about your, your position. Give me the report. So I know what you are, what you have, you have problem so I can solve it. He said, it's not important. This is very, what you call it, I don't know, same as uh, useless. If I make a report, use it. So I don't know what to do with it. I would suggest Please. that maybe you would you would want to maybe have someone to work with him, like try to get someone else that will you can say that you're preparing that new person for the year after. So get them trained with that person and ask the the trainee to do the work or do that that specific thing. It doesn't have to be everything, of course, but that specific thing, and see in general if you can have that report somehow yeah you know yeah, I, yeah. I print yes. the paper he needed the paper he needed the, for the report i print it and give it to him physically but mm -hmm. still no use thank you father dahlia did you share the link for people to register yes you know it's, it's not it's, kicking it's, it's, uh, uh, no, no, it is, there. It, is, it is working. It is, it is working. There. It is working. It is working. Yeah, it's working. Yes. Uh, I, I, share, I share it again. But please make sure you are registering for that one. And if you have more than role, role, also you can add it if you are more than the role, role. Okay. And we need to do it right away because how long is it going to be on? Yes. Okay. So we can do the registration and then we the have one, the, one, the one who finished, he can. If you finish, finish, Dahlia, from your side, everything is okay? Or like We're just taking the questions, yes. Okay. The one who finished, he can go to the main room or he can leave. It's okay. But make sure you register before he leave. Great. And now we have a question from Minaki. Am I pronouncing that right? Toastmaster Minaki. Or is it Minachi? Minachi. Hi. No, no, Minachi, no. sorry. Minachi, yes. <laughs> no, I didn't Minachi, ask you. Sorry. I think um, in the attendance, the first part is written in Arabic. So I oh. think that means email. Yeah. So that's what I was just mentioning on chat. I, I forget who actually brought that up. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Uh, it's President Illidan Galvez. I, I'm so sorry if I'm yes, butchering your yeah. name. Yes. Thank you so much. So the first one is uh, email. Not that I know how to read Arabic. I asked. Okay. Yeah. So there is name. Okay. There is name. I'm and, not uh, able to print it. I'm not able to type on it. Why? No, it is allowed. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We have. I guess it, it is. It is. It is Google form. You can do whatever. Uh, yeah, the it's it's a, it's open link. You, what you have to do is first you pro, put your name and then email address and then go with your. Correct. Details. Correct. That's the room. The room is a closing, by the way. All of us got here in, from various yeah, parts yeah. because discussions were still going on. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, it yeah. was such an informative meeting going on and we got pulled back but to the main I session. Think, I think okay, I guess it's finished. Yeah, it's the time. Yeah, yeah. We were discussing in uh, 